Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm very good. That's good. What did you do today? Um, I'm at home today. You're at home today. Okay, and where's your brother? Um, my brother? My brother's not here. Yeah, I think your brother's at your granny's house. Yes. Okay. Okay, so you stayed at home and your brother went to go play with your cousin? Yes. Okay. Um, in Friday, my um, brother is go here. Oh, your brother will be back on Friday? Yes. yes. Okay. He go to my granny house in um, Sunday. Sunday. Okay, and then back to your granny on Sunday. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So he's spending some time with your grandmother. Because when I teach your brother, I teach him and your cousin. Okay. <laughs> okay. So family life, responsibilities. What are responsibilities? Um, hmm. What, teacher? What are responsibilities? I don't know. Okay, it's things that you have to do. So it is your responsibility to study for a test so that you don't fail. It's your responsibility to maybe look after your cat and feed your cat. Do you understand? What, teacher? What? I said it's a responsibility to look after an animal. So, like, okay. if you have a cat, it's your responsibility to feed the cat, okay. to clean up the cat's mice. Okay. Read textbooks. Okay, so what does this say? Read textbook. Good. Pay bills. Pay bills. Yes. Go to bed early. Go to bed early. Good. Repair the house. Repair the house. Type a report. Type a report. Good. Scrub the sink. Scrub the sink. Very good. Okay. What does this say? What? Can you Wait. read this for me? Yes. Okay. I have to read textbook with my presents. Have to pay by pay bills. Good. Okay. So now we're going to listen, and you are going to number the picture. Page twelve. B. Listen and number. Then talk about the picture. One. Tommy, are you almost finished typing your report? Yes. Almost. I'll probably need another 30 minutes. Okay. Don't forget, your dad and I need to pay bills using the computer when you're done. Okay, My so where is that? I... Listen again, okay? Yeah. Page 12. B. Listen and number. Then talk about the picture. 1. Tommy. Are you almost finished typing your report? Yes, almost. I'll probably need another 30 minutes. Okay, don't forget, your dad and I need to pay bills using the computer when you're done. Two. Okay, good. So that's one. Let's just make that go one. away. This one, this one. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's listen to number two. And Emma, how's your homework going? I'm reading textbooks now. The chapter in my science textbook is longer than the one in my social studies textbook. Three. Okay, where is number two? Yeah, number two in here. Good. Three. What's that about paying bills? I'm still repairing the house. This door is so loose. Good. Four. 
Shh. Anne is going to go to bed early tonight. She wasn't feeling very well, remember? Mom, I'm right here. I came to say good night. Good night, Anne. Good. Five. Mom, do you need help cleaning the kitchen? No, thanks. After I scrub the sink, I'll be finished. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Okay. So now we have to say what both of them have to do. So I have to read textbooks, but my parents have to pay bills. Or I have to read textbooks, and my parents do too. So let's listen to number one. Page 13. C. Listen and say. Then practice. I have to read textbooks, but my parents have to pay bills. I have to read textbooks, and my parents do too. One. I have to read textbooks, but my parents have to pay bills. Okay, so what is number one? Number one is um, I have to read textbook when my brother have to pay bills. To pay bills, good. Let's listen to number two. Two. I have to read textbooks and my parents do too. Okay, what is number two? I have to read textbook and my brother do too. Good. Three. I have to go to bed early. But my parents have to repair the house. Okay, what is three? I have to go to bed early, but my parents have to repair the house. Good. Four. Four. I have to go to bed early, and my parents do too. I have to go to bed early, and my parents do too. Good. Number five? Five. <coughs> I have to type a report, but my parents have to scrub the sink. Okay, what is five? I have to repair the, the pot, but my um, parents have to what? Okay, I have to type a report, type and my parents have to scrub the sink. Okay, my parents have to... The sink. Good. Now let's listen to number six. Six. I have to type a report, and my parents do too. What is number six? Number six is I am um, what? I prepare no. Type a report. I time a report in my brother. Do too. Good, and my parents do too. Okay. I have to read textbooks, but my parents does daughter parents do. Okay. That's a bit confusing. <laughs> Let's listen. Page 13. D. Listen and say. Then practice. I don't have to read textbooks, but my son does. I don't have to read textbooks, but my daughter does. I don't have to pay bills, but my parents do. 1. I don't have to read textbooks, but my son does. Okay, what is number 1? Number 1 is um I have to read textbook. I don't have to read textbooks. Yes. But my my um Aaron yeah. my son does. Okay. Okay. Number two. You can listen. Two. I don't have to pay bills, but my parents do. Okay, what is number two? I don't have to pay will with my brother, <coughs> with my brother. Okay, 
parents do. Good. Yeah. Three. I don't have to write a report, but my daughter does. I don't have to um, do my report with my um, daughter too. No. No. Good. Okay. All right, that was quick. We finished that one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That was very quick. I don't have the next one for you because usually we don't finish so quickly. So just give me a moment and I am going to download it quickly. Uh, unit two, lesson two. Okay, so what work do you do at home? What responsibilities um. do you have? Um, I um, help my um, grandmother. Okay, you help your grandmother. And what do you help her with? Um, I help my um, grandmother um, um, clean the house. Okay. <coughs> um, what? What? Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. I think this is meant to be privileges, but it's spelled wrong. So, what is a privilege? Um... Privilege, I don't know. <laughs> okay, privilege is something that you have that you don't need. Like for a child, uh, a cell phone is a privilege. You don't need a cell phone, but you want a cell phone. So your yeah, parents... I have a cell phone. Good, that's a privilege. And it's a privilege to have fancy clothes, to have nice toys. It's not a need. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. Because there's a difference. Okay, everybody needs clothes. But there's a difference in buying a shirt for $1 and buying a shirt for $100. You understand? Yes. Okay. Call friends. What does that say? Call friends. Good. Stay up late. Play a play. Invite a friend over. Invite a friend over. Good. Watch a scary movie. What scary movie? Good. Sing karaoke. Sing karaoke. Have a party. Have a party. Good. Okay, what does this say? Um, I can call friend on weekend, but I can call friend on weekday. On weekdays, good. Okay. I can call friends on weekends, but I can't call friends on weekdays. Okay. So we are okay. going to see... Listen and repeat. Page 14. B. Listen and say. Then practice. I can call friends on weekends, but I can't call friends on weekdays. Weekends. Saturday. Sunday. Weekdays. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday, Friday. One. I can call friends on weekends, but I can't call friends on weekdays. Okay, so what is number one? Number one is um, I can call friends on weekend, but I can't call friends on weekday. Very good. Now let's listen to number two. <coughs> Two. 
I can stay up late on weekends, but I can't stay up late on weekdays. I can uh, I can stay up late on weekend, but I can't stay up late on weekday. Very good. Number three. 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 I can invite a friend over on weekends, but I can't invite a friend over on weekdays. Okay, so Four. what is number three? I can invite my friend on um, week weekend, but I can um I can um invite my friend on weekday. Very good. Let's listen to four. Four. I can watch a scary movie on weekends, but I can't watch a scary movie on weekdays. I can watch a scary movie on weekends, but I can't watch a scary movie on weekday. Very good. Five. I can sing karaoke on weekends, but I can't sing karaoke on weekdays. Um, I can sing karaoke on weekend, but I can sing karaoke in um uh weekday. Good. Now the last one. Six. I can have a party on weekends, but I can't have a party on weekdays. Um, I can, um, I can what, teacher? I can have a party. I can have a party in weekend. I can have a party in weekday. On weekdays, good. <coughs> okay, so now we're going to listen, say, and practice. Page 15. <coughs> See. Listen and say, then practice. My dad could call friends when he was my age, but my mom couldn't. My mom could call friends when she was my age, but my dad couldn't. One. My dad could call friends when he was my age, but my mom couldn't. Okay, what is one? Um... My mom could call friend when she was my age, but my dad couldn't. Couldn't. Good. Let's listen to number two. Two. My mom could sing karaoke when she was my age, but my dad couldn't. Um, my mom can sing karaoke. When she was my age, but my dad could be. Good. Number three? Sorry. Page 15. She was my age, but my dad couldn't. Three. My dad could invite a friend over when he was my age, but my mom couldn't. Okay. My dad is invite his friend. With my mom put it. Okay, but you forgot when he was my age. Okay. Four. My mom could have a party when she was my age, but my dad couldn't. I think it's this one. My mom had a party when she was my age, but my dad put it. Good. Five. My dad could stay up late when he was my age, but my mom couldn't. My dad can can sleep at my age when he was my age, but my mom could it. Okay. Six. My mom could watch a scary movie when she was my age, but my dad.
Okay, that's not there. Okay, so we got about five minutes left. Okay, so listen, read, and then answer. Okay, so amusement park rules. Let's listen. Page 15. Skills. Reading and writing. D. Listen and read. Then answer the questions. Amusement park rules. We ask our guests to remember these rules. 1. Guests should always wear sneakers. They should not wear sandals. 2. Guests can't use cell phones while on the rides. They may use them in the park, but please be polite. 3. Children must always stay with their parents. 4. Guests have to wear their seatbelts on all the rides. 5. Guests must buy food, snacks, and drinks inside the park. Okay, one. What shoes should guests wear on their feet? Um, all, um, with suit, all the way wears sneakers. Sneakers, good. What must guests buy inside the park? Um, Hmm. This. Um. Oh, this. Buy some food, snacks, and drink inside Good. the park. And then number three. What can guests use in the park but not on the rides? Um, this can do careful we on the right. Good. Okay, so we're going to circle the modal verbs. So can, may, should, and must, and have to are modal verbs. Okay, so we should buy some snacks. I'm hungry. Where's the modal verb? So Good. Uh, I thought it would circle it for me. Let me just get my pen. Okay. My little brother and I must stay with our parents. Um, must. Must. Can I use my cell phone now? Um... And I can. Very yeah. good. Okay. So we are going to stop there for today. Okay. And I will see you again on Thursday. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Um, teacher? Yes. In um, in your country, it's so cold. It's very cold. Yes. Oh. We have winter and you have summer. Okay. In Vietnam, it's so hot. Yes, because you have summer. We have different yeah. seasons. It's rain. It was raining a lot today here it's, too. It's, it's hot. <laughs> okay. I will see you on Thursday. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye.